An excited crowd gathered early to witness this historic opening event, and the fans were not disappointed as a fair amount of them gathered for this one. In fact, they got more than they bargained for with a wonderful display first up from the Gymnastics Federation, showcasing the full capability of the facility as a multidiscipline one. Then they gave way to Taekwondo, where these exponents also represented their sport well as the crowd lapped it all up. But they came for cycling, and that's what they got, as the sprinters took center stage with some early signs of the potential for the venue to become a real must-visit one for sports fans from all over TNT and the region as well. But when the dust cleared, the match sprint final among the ladies went to a tense finish as Colombian teammates made the track their own. But it was Sol Angie Roa who stole the first ride, and in the second, she came under pressure from Adriana Daza, who jumped and looked as though she would draw level. But the speedy Raw had other ideas, and she stormed back to win impressively in two straight rides. The battle for third was won by Tenille Campbell, who showed a tremendous turn of speed and power to kill off the challenge of the more noted sprinter Kiana Lester to win in two straight as well to secure the bronze. In the men's equivalent, it was a similar thing as Samuel Dakin of New Zealand led one to nothing and was seeking another victory over Great Britain's Thomas Rotherham. The British rider tried hard, but Deakin timed it well to come around to make it two in a row for the bronze medal. Then in the men's gold medal clash, another all-Columbia affair. Diego Peña jumps early as he tried to force a third and deciding ride, but the faster Anderson Parra showed a tremendous turn of speed in the straightaway and blew past his countrymen to take the title in two straight as well for the gold medal to cap a fine night of cycling at the new velodrome. Oscar Mark, Sea Sports.